Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is your favorite bag maker, Richard. And this is a um, do-over of our tunnel bottom uh, construction, which is the wedding bag uh, uh, lesson. Um, so we decided that what we wanted to do was to redo it and update it and uh, to make it a little bit more precise some of the videos i did have been around for about seven or eight years now so it's time to redo them and so that's what we're doing here we're not going to remake the wheel you are in advance so you do know how to make a pattern what i am most of this pattern what we are going to go through uh is making the uh the flat bottom and the flat bottom gusset uh, because uh, this particular leather uh, was a little bit thicker than um, I anticipated. This is a four ounce veggie tan. I really needed a three ounce veggie tan um, to do this bag the way I kind of anticipated. But I got a four, so we're going to make it work. And so what we're going to do is make a flat bottom, um, a flat bottom, uh, gusset and bottom false no <laughs> it's a false bottom flat i'm confused is that how to explain the gusset but it's a flat bottom gusset and that's what we're doing and here's the flat bottom good lord is that confusing here's the flat bottom right here and what we mean by flat bottom is this bottom is not going to break like a clutch would break for instance this is not going to it's going to fold more like this than it is with a, a crease you know like like this so it's just going to roll like that so because of that we're going to be doing a flat bottom the tunnel is this part here and that is to give us room to put our needle our, our head of our, our 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 head our needle down and so we have room to stitch and that's why we use this tunnel model so that you can go all the way around and um and stitch your bag it's also a false bottom because you can actually shape this because you have this lift so this is a tunnel and you may even call it a false bottom uh, if we decided that we wanted to continue the scallop all the way around and so this is kind of like the bag we're going to be doing we're also going to be putting pre-fitting uh pre-lining this bag so we're going to lay the lining in and then when we sew it the bag will be complete so let's get on with the lesson all right so what we're going to do is in this particular lesson all we're going to concentrate on is the bottom and the gusset everything else you know how to make so uh, my bag is coming along as you can see i've died dyed the different parts and I got here some pig skin that I'm going to be using as my lining and this lining is going to be uh, pre-lined so I'm going to be laying pieces down like this and then building them up and gluing them down so the, the whole bag will be pre-lined um, as I said in the beginning I'm, I kind of bought this leather a little bit too thick so now I'm molding it to kind of do what it would normally have to do if I had a stay in it to make it go a little bit better. That's about it on the update and it's moving along. I do have to order some hardware to go with the bag. Um, so it'll probably take me an extra three or four days to get that in. But it's coming along. These pieces are coming along here. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to update. So here's my flap. Uh, I'm getting ready. I pre-lined it. I put in my stitching for the back. Sorry about the bright light. And um, 
Uh, got ready to put my hardware in. I've already lined it. And um, so right now, I'm just going to attempt to redo my edges and try to put a little color. And hopefully this sway won't bleed. So anyway, we'll see what happens. And, but that's how, I'm, that's how we're doing. So, um, like I'm hand stitching this bag, so I've already made my uh, stitch holes. And so what I do is I kind of use these pins, as I'll take pins and stuff, and make sure that everything is super aligned, so that when I go to hand stitch this, the needle will go, to, uh, go through smoothly. And so that's why I kind of uh, use these pins and everything. Okay, um, here we are with the bag, as you can see. It's coming along, no bottom, no sides yet. But we used to have this. Uh, this um, uh, we used to have this mentor when we were in the business in New York, and he used to go, "I can sell a silhouette. I can sell a silhouette. Just give me the front of it. I can sell it." And so here we go, Howard, dedicated to you, <laughs> the silhouette. But as you can see, the bag is coming along. Um, we've got our pre-lining in here. We pre-lined it. It's looking really good. I'm not going to do anything to the edges here. And that'll be it. So all we have to do now is put in our gussets in the bottom and sew. And the bag is finished. We've done our top stitching here. We've done our stitching in the back. And everything looks really good. So that's it. We'll so here we are. And um, right now we're just taking our final look at the gussets to make sure that they're going to fit. And then we've started to put in our last of our lining and we're just going to make sure that, you know, it's going to be nice and straight across and that everything is going to uh, be okay. We sh I know you see these flat pockets and you hear me rail against flat pockets, but Linda was just being lazy, so her bag, her laziness her pockets <laughs> so that's pretty much it folks um, I'm going to go ahead and hand stitch the rest of this thing together and um, we'll go from there so like I said before here we are and uh, like I was saying my stitching uh, isn't perfect but I give it a, like a B you know um, Overall, like I said, this is the first time I've ever worked with VeggieTan. Uh, I've never made this many stitch holes, and they all lined up. There must be like two, three thousand here. And uh, I've made the straps. I've dyed it. Um, I can honestly say this is my first truly handmade um, bag. I mean, they're all handmade, but this is like everything from the dyeing of the leather to the making of the strap, uh, pretty much to everything. I'm pretty happy with it. When I make it again for the next lesson, we're going to redo it in a different way. But um, when I make it again, I'll make some adjustments and try to come up with a better bag, different color scheme, and see if we can take the same bag it make it look a little bit different in the function. Here's our completed bag, and uh, as you can see, it came out pretty good. Uh, we could make an adjustment on the handles there, but other than that, overall, I'm uh, pretty happy with how it came out.